everyone. This is Billy. Make sure that's on video. Oh, yes, it is. Okay. Hope everyone is well. Welcome to Billy Home and Creations. I'm going to make myself a phone stand because I don't have one and I think it would be nice to have because, you know, when I'm just prop it up and sitting there scrolling and, and uh, this is going to be for me. I believe this mold is from Into Resin. I will double check and put that in my descriptions below, but I am an affiliate for Into Resin, Let's Resin, and um, Amazon. So I have an Amazon shop. So uh, what I'm going to put in this phone holder is something I've saved for many years now. Um, these were little hat pins, you know, the little ones that have the little backs on them like that. These belong to my son, William. And I'm going to make this for myself uh, because I've saved all of Willie's little things uh, because um, he's gone. I, I lost him at the age of 24. Miss him dearly. He's been gone almost 20 years. And um, I'm just grateful I am where I am today because that is the biggest heartbreak I believe I'll ever have to endure. But this is for my boy and for me. So... I will let that go, and thank you for your understanding. But I'm going to make a black bottom, and I really am not sure uh, if you're supposed to do things upside down in this, but I guess I'm going to start from the bottom up, right side up, and I'm going to I'm going to make that black. So what I need to do is have a thin layer of black before I um, put my little items in. I just saw an eyelash. There, got it. So, I mixed up actually four ounces of my amazing clear cast resin that I get from Amazon. And I know that's a little too much. So, let me just set this somewhere. Here we go. I know that's a little more than I need, maybe. But, just in case, um, if I have extra, I'm going to use this little rose mold that I purchased from a lady on eBay. And I can put that link in um, to her shop too. I bought quite a, full, quite a few molds from her and I really like them. They were very inexpensive and I got two in a set. But my thought was is to, if I have the time, to take some of my Let's Resin Chameleon Powder and color the rose and cover the leaves and then pour the extra black inside. So we'll see if we get that far. So for time being, I've got my Just For You Online UK. Uh, this is black pigment. And I'm just going to put a little of this in here. And maybe add some black paint if it, because I would like it opaque. Because I want to hide the, the back of those pins. So, God, I'm reaching over again. I moved things around and now I'm... I don't know where I'm at. Okay. So I'm going to put one, two good scoops in there. See where that gets us. And if all else fails, I do have some black casting um, craft that I can put in here and make it a little more opaque. So my handy dandy wooden stir stick. Pardon the scraping sound, but this is going to be a, a dark, dark silver or steel gun gray, I believe, without the uh, paint added to it. I'll get it off the sides. I like this little mixing bowl. It's just an old bowl I had in the cupboard. And I just spray it with... Um, my alcohol and wipe it out and use it again. And this is a pigment, so I really need to. Get it. So I'm going to add just a little squirt of my apple barrel black. And just, oh, it's just coming out on its own, isn't it? Well, I'd say that's about 10 drops. But at least I'll still have the shine of the pigment. Ooh, it looks marbly. That would be cool, too. See, 
got streaks in there. Let's go ahead and try this and see how dark I can get it. This is like the only black I have, so I'm just going to try to use it sparingly until I can get more. Okay, I'm going to add some casting craft in black. It's in black. You know, I've been trying the flower blooms, and I don't know if um, I'd like to try something black instead of the white casting craft and try to do a bloom that way but in my head I'm still mixed up about it that's how that goes sometimes so let's just put maybe one two three four five that'll get it black I'm sure won't it there I put some shells up on my one cupboard up there, so that helps. Just, they're just little baskets that I stuck on. Get some things off my countertop. And this is um, from Just For You Online UK. When I first started, started resin, that's where I went for some paste. I really didn't know where to go, actually, when I started. Oh, I can't do that now while well, it's in there. Gosh. I was going to just mix this up before I started, and I thought, oh, no, I should share with everyone, you know, how I get that color, but oh, my gosh. I don't know that everybody wants to watch me mix resin, especially when I can't get a color right off the get-go. But thank you for your patience. All right, I'm going with it. The casting craft has 45 minutes work time, and I probably spent 15 of it. So, let's just see if we can't get a... I, uh, just a covering layer on, on the bottom, and then I'll let that set till it gets stack, tacky before I set the pins in. And maybe by that time I can be coloring that little rose. And I know this is probably not level because it's in this smaller tray, but we'll give it a go. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay, I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back. let that set for a minute and before this goes oh my gosh that's quite a lot isn't it look Ooh. well that might fill that rose and then some let me put this aside and we will oh my gosh you should see my counter over here I've got seashells galore that's going to be a new project for you what happened here I moved it it moved right away from that. Don't do that. We need you there. Did it screw up anywhere else? God, it looks like it's pulling away from the corners. What's the deal, Billy? Do I need more resin? There is some kind of a... No, it looked like there's a lip there, but there isn't. Look at that. I'm going to need more in there. Holy crow. What 
It's my imagination. I can't tell. See what I mean? Is there a lip there? It's just not going in there. I don't want to add more. Oh, I gotta get going here. I want over here too. If at all, oops, I'll just keep an eye on that, make sure it doesn't pull away. Hmm? All right, now, as Julie would say, oh, and there's a big hair. Look how that's pulling into the middle. Okay, we're gonna get to painting real fast. Goodness. It's pretty level over there. All right, all right, all right, all right. So here's my little mold. And here are, these are my chameleon powder um, pigments that I got from Less, Re Less Resin. And I'm gonna do a a fuchsia or a mag magenta and I don't know if I should do olive or mint the mint has a gold change to it the olive I'm not quite sure let's just do mint for the leaves so I got this with something it's like from pixie pix pi pix i i I believe is how it's spelled but that's pretty, isn't that? Let's just get in here and see if I can decipher which is the rose. Oh, that's another rose there. Okay. Whoops. Let's start at the middle. Keep an eye on my resin. So it does not flash cure. That'd be pretty. Does anyone know where you get those very tiny, um, oh, what are they? They're silicone and they've got the tiniest little ball tip on them. See, this is Pixis, P I X I S S, www.pixis.com. I might not be able to get in there. But they're tinier than that. And I, I'm going to have to look at Steve McDonald's website because I know he uses them a lot. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say That first time using this mold, it's pretty detailed, I must say It's just going in. Da, 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 da. Okay. Now, where are you? Let's see what happens. It looks pretty deep, too. Let's 
That was four ounces. I didn't even need one ounce probably in the phone stand. Oh, come on. Don't mess up, Billy. I'm getting excited. Whoa. Whoa. And a little overpour there. Oh. Relief, but now I'm now I'm excited. Get in there, get in the points. standing straight on the little legs. I think I can put a little more in right here. So, you know what? Put this aside. I've got to clean that up. Lid on, get my lids on so you don't lose that. Um, oh gosh, look what I did. I moved it. Okay, go that way. Yeah, we'll have to fix that. Just seems like that. Um, let's come back that way. I have another one. I'm going to grab it. And here it is. Maybe I'll just do a black rose if I can keep it out of the leaf area. How's that? Let's see where we go here. Didn't even see if there's anything in the mold, but I keep them in drawers. That should be helpful. Barely enough for this, isn't that something? I want a black rose bush. I don't have one. I've got beautiful pinks, yellows, variegated orange and yellow, reds. Um, I don't have a black one. I always thought that would be pretty neat to have a black rose. Okay, now oh, I've got another thing. Let me grab it. That off. I'm going to grab. I like this little spatula. Oh, is it running into the rose part? Without me getting... Oh, might have to paint some green on there. Darn. Yep, it's pointing to go there. Oh well, might have to just paint green on it. With a green pen or something.
need that for the needs. You know how it is. Don't want to waste resin by any means. going into the leaves and the stem I see a little corner here that didn't get filled and I don't think I have enough to do completely black have to be this way and it's not completely full either now what do I do I've got a teaspoon left oops let's go black all the way whatever let's just do it I'll put something on the back Next time, I promise I will try to be ready, especially if I'm using chameleon pigments. Oh, look at that. Scrape that right out. Oh, no. We got it over here. We'll fix it no matter how it turns out. It's always a way, I think. Just give me a little more. Just a little more. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Save from a flash cure. Oh, sometimes I'm kind of lucky that way. Very grateful I am. Okay, <laughs> look at this. Talk about the bottom of the barrel. Okay. Well, that's the best you're gonna get. To clean up the edges though. Okay. We'll squish, squish. Don't know if that works for resin. But I've seen it done with jasmineite. All right. Heat real fast. Pardon me. There's bubbles over here. Gosh, I haven't even looked back here. The holder. Well, for as quickly as this set up, I'm hoping the... Uh... God, don't stick your finger in it. I had a toothpick somewhere. Well, this side seems to just dip down. Get that in there. That up in there. And we should have pretty roses. Black rose would be good for Ooh, Halloween deck. Halloween. Halloween decoration. Okay, I'm going to pause you, clean up my mess, uh, check back when the phone holder is a little more than tacky, and then I can set the little items in it. So, I will see you shortly. Bye. Hi, everyone. Whoops, this chair, pardon me. Oh, I think it went down an inch or two. Oh, gosh. Anyway. Here is the holder, the phone holder, and it is tacky, but I'm going to go ahead and place uh, my small items inside. So first of all, 
I'm going to start, I, I, well, I laid them out, sort of, uh, and then I wobbled and they moved all around, so that wasn't part of the plan. I had them lined out where I wanted them to be, but I'm going to go ahead and let me turn this one around. Oh, I can't. I better not. Let me turn this around this way, because when this slides in, uh, my Garfield face is going to be facing that way. So I'm going to turn my little piece over here. Um, don't remember where Garfield came from, but I, I believe he came um, off of Willie's bicycle. So I might have to stand to be centered here. I am going to place, just going to start placing these items where I want them to be. There. Oh, and where it where it lands, it stays. Okay, I think that was a reflector on his bicycle. This is just little some little goofy guy with his tongue hanging out. Don't know where where he came from really, but he's going in. And I have two pieces that were part of his Cub Scouts uniform. They were black, and I painted them gold. I might need tweezers just to help me so I don't stick my fingers in it. I'm going to put this right about there. And it's all about, you know, placement as far as um, eyeballing things, I guess. This, I'm not sure. Oh, I know what this is. It's a pin uh, from the youth ranch here in our area, which is a store, a secondhand store for troubled teens, but that's too big. This one, we have a, a Canadian flag, American flag. Oh, and that's the America and the United States. I think I will fit that. Oh, I'm shaking. Right. Oh, fall. No, 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 no. Shoot. Like I said, it's tacky. Best I can do, it's rather crooked. I need something small there because I, um, that youth ranch isn't going to fit where I thought it would be. Here's something. A real milk symbol. Let me just put hit this right in here. Like so. And I do have one more of these hat pins. Uh, this one has a speed racing car on it, racing team. And what I did is just remove this little tab, take my wire cutters, get as close as I could, and just, I don't want it to fall in there, but just cut. Cut or pop it off. And I could just cut it off, right? like that whoop okay and like all my other collages now I can turn this one forward around my other collages collages we start with the largest largest first uh, 1988 for rendezvous Anchorage Alaska well he must have got this from my father because my father went to Alaska many times so I'm just gonna eyeball it whoop down here so much for my plan or my arrangement I'll just go big ones in the center um Wendell Idaho post 41 my son Willie was on the volunteer fire department he was a young man, which is pretty cool. So he, worked on the fire response unit for a little bit, and then he went skiing. This is an emblem of 
skiing in Sun Valley, Idaho. Okay. Now, I have a little duck pin. I think I'm going to put the little duck pin right here. Dad was a duck hunter, so there you go. Duck pin. Here we have, I don't know, it's arrows and a sword. Let me put that here. Oh, now, since I messed up my whole lineup, uh, this is a shield of some kind. I don't know what it represents, but let's put that there. And this is a little larger. This is that race car. Might have to go up here. It's a little big. Tone it a little bit. Even though this resin is pretty tacky, I can go ahead and do a clear coat and go right on top of this black. Oops, that's sticking up a little bit. There, stay there, get evened out. Okay, here's a, another racing, racing team flag. Whoops, no. Didn't have a good grip. Hope that doesn't show up. A little flaw right there, it just might now, since I disturbed it. That's okay, we're going with what we can do. Um, here is his other Cub Scout pin. Put that over here. And I just stuck my finger in it. The gloves right there, can you see what I did? Darn it. Don't know if I can fix that. Maybe um, hot air gun will fix that. Well, here we have one of the little Smurfs. We did watch the Smurfs a lot when we, he was younger. I gotta quit putting my finger in it. See, oh, I did it again. I guess it's just gonna be a matter of dropping. Okay, there's our Smurf. Here's a little blue dinosaur. Don't know where he came from. He'll fit there. And I have a little pink dinosaur. Hmm. Maybe he can go there. And we're getting smaller. Oh, Garfield. Oh my goodness. Willie loved Garfield, so we can put Garfield right here. That was the hat pin. Then I have Wyoming. My father must have traveled through Wyoming or something and gave that to him. It's gonna go there. And we have an Idaho Centennial, 10th Centennial Celebration license plate that will fit there and we're getting smaller oh we have a Canadian maple leaf it says Canada it's gonna go up here perfect pat that one in um, I've got resin on my knuckles a Ducks Unlimited that it's blue. Let's put that over here. Um, this is a member of the Moose Lodge pin, and I think that can go there. I'm just gonna have enough, and we have a dove. Now, where can I put this little dove? I think 
the dove can go right there. Let's follow him. Okay. And this is a. This is hard to read, but I believe it's club. I actually think it was from the Bricklayers Union. My dad was a brick mason. So we'll put that right down there. And last but not least, a very tiny replica of a penny. So I can put that this by Garfield over here. Right there. And there we have it. My little memoirs are in there. I'm going to try and get my heat gun and see if I can't fix that area where I stuck my knuckle in. So give me one second. Maybe I can fix it. Noise. Oh, That went away. Little toothpick. Well, that's going away too. Okay, I'm gonna make up some clear resin. So, gosh, I don't need much of that, do I? Let's see, maybe one, gosh, maybe two ounces and I'll have extra. I'll try, try to make one and a half ounces of clear resin. I will top this off. And then tomorrow we can demold and put this together and see how it works. Thank you for joining me, everyone. I'll see you in the morning. Bye. Good morning. I hope everyone is well. Here we are. Um, I couldn't wait. So I went ahead and demolded the black rose. I thought that turned out so pretty. Um, I may tip the edges with some gold or silver. I'm not quite sure, but I need to clean up the ends on that, just this area here. And then it is a little bit bendable. So I believe I will be able to attach a hair clip to it. And uh, this size fits just perfectly about there. So once I trim that, I am going to bend it over and tape it in place after I use my E6000 to uh, glue that in. I do have some black E6000. E I don't know where it is. I know it comes in clear black and um, I believe white. But until then, let's go ahead and unmold the one we use the chameleon powders on. I think this is going to be really pretty. And I thought they would be heavy to use as a hair clip, but I don't think so. They're pretty light, actually. Oh, look at that. Oh, we use the magenta. And the... We didn't use mint, did we? We used the... Um, yeah, we've used mint, not olive. Okay. So let's get this off. Oh my gosh, that's very pretty. Oh, it's bright. Wow. That shows some really nice colors, doesn't it? Oh, I just missed a spot right there. I don't think that does need any accent at all. Like I said, this one's quite bendable too. So I'll clean that up just a little right here and get to gluing. All right, now, as far as the phone holder goes, I over poured, I obviously over poured, so this is gonna need some cleanup too. And uh, now I realized Garfield was backwards. He should have been this way. But uh, everything's covered, nothing's sticking up. But I can tell, and this comes out nicely. Wow. See, there's my 
over pouring right there so I'm going to trim that and the big one is still quite flexible but I'd like to get it put together to show you today so I can upload this video and have it and I did not color uh, well I must have pressed those in too close to the bottom but anyway that's all right this is for me and there it is everything turned out really nice kind of lost the penguin in here but uh, other than that I don't see any bubbles and I over of course it overfilled in here I need to cut this area out so I will do some trimming and get right back to you see you in a minute okay that was easy enough to do because they're still soft so I just went around the edges with my um, razor blade here and I need to sand the edges with an emery board or file and also get in here and sand too because as it sits or doesn't stand um, I need to file that down some more so it can actually stand up straight and it's just too soft so I'm gonna have to let that harden up and put it together and I'll show you a finished picture of that now the roses they were easy to trim and since they're still uh, is malleable the word I'm gonna go ahead and put my E6000 sometimes you need a pliers to open it my E6000 down on these clips and tape them and again when they're set I will take a photograph and I may take my um, well, that's not my silver my silver pan and just touch up some of the um, edges here might do that and every rose needs a you know a dew drop so I'm gonna find a little uh, what are they called I have them somewhere I'm gonna put a little dew drop on the rose petal here I'll glue that on but once it's shaped so let me go ahead and show you oh, I missed an area there let me get that real quick okay um it's just glue whoops i'm getting glue on my thingy okay so i'm gonna run a bead of glue on here like i said this e thousand i depend on it for a lot of different projects and what oozes out the side, you can just peel off. See if I can get this set right. Put the lid on or I'll be. Okay, so if you're right-handed, the clip goes in this way, which means the flower sits this way. So I will place it right about here and it just barely fits it's just barely long enough to fit that area there and we'll bend and hold and I will grab some tape and I last night it was still too soft to set the the um, hair clip in or I could have done it that way but since I'm doing it this way, let me open that. So I'm going to run a piece of tape right between that area there. Get it secured. And I'm hoping the tape won't mark the resin piece. So just get that in there tight. I can take another piece 
stand that up, get that taped. Now that one, I might have to go over the rows a little bit. And then bend this side in. Like so. And that's going to show just a tad, maybe. I was hoping it wouldn't. One piece of tape. Set this here. Bend, come on, bend for me. Bend for me there. Tape that down. Good and secure. I'm gonna close this. And I'm going to cover that a little. And then I am going to Take a bigger piece of tape. Oh, come on, you. And I'm going to pull with this piece of tape. I'm pull it clear to the other side so it is sure to bend into the shape I need. Pull, tape, pull. Looks secure. I'll keep an eye on it. And you can see it's in there pretty good. I'll get another piece of tape and go over here. So that's my plan for the other one. And I will let these harden take some stills. I want to go edit this video right away so I can have it up for you Wednesday. And everything I'm used will be in my description box along with my um, links to Let's Resin for the Chameleon Powders and my Amazon store front because that's where I got the clips. So until then, thank you for watching, everybody. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you Sunday with another video that you are going to absolutely love. I guarantee it. All right. Have a great day. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you soon.